Okay, now let's take a closer look at the Dell and see how well it performs as a tablet, as a PC, and as a uh, general all-round uh, companion device. Uh, first of all, you've got um, the display. It's obviously 1280 by 800. Um, not the highest resolution, but it is definitely pretty adequate and more than adequate for this device. It really does um, look sharp with everything that you do. Text looks sharp. Pictures look sharp. Uh, the screen is also very responsive. Uh, it responds to your touch very easily, as you can see. You can swipe in, swipe out. It does have a few times where it kind of picks up a double tap when you just tap uh, once, but um, that doesn't happen all the time. Uh, so let's go into Internet Explorer and uh, move around in that. And you see it opens up pretty quickly. Uh, pinch to zoom as usual with Windows 8 is pretty smooth and it's, I mean, it's pretty much just as you would expect from any Windows 8 computer but it's especially smooth with the Bay Trail CPU. Uh, let's go a few, a few more websites and see how it does with loading. And see how that is pretty quick. You can go in and uh, let's see if we can find something with a video to play. Uh, no, probably not. Let's try YouTube. And actually this should be the site to go to and let's try this and as you can see it really does load quickly it's um, nothing to complain about performance is really good uh, let's see if we can bump the resolution up here So that looks pretty good. It's no problem streaming that 720p. Uh, let's try another site. Um, let's go to Amazon. And once again, everything just loads up pretty quick. The pages have loaded. A bit of content loading out there but now that's actually loaded straight away so you can go in and let's see what everyone's saying about the Dell Venue 8 Pro it's got 42 customer reviews that's about four and a half stars looking good uh, 32 gig and 64 gig seem to be selling well at Amazon Uh, what else can we look at? Let's see. These are mostly applications that I normally use, so they might be different from what anyone else uses, obviously. Uh, let's go into the store. And that as well is pretty responsive. And let's see what we can install let's see how quickly this installs Yeah. 
it's about 17 megabytes to install so that's not downloading and installing and that's it we're installed okay so let's go to the desktop so obviously a desktop on an 8 inch uh, tablet is probably not the best work environment but it's still good enough you can actually get some work done if you're using word excel and actually doing some file management with uh, the file explorer so let's open up word and obviously it's a it's a smaller space than you're probably used to with a bigger bigger monitor um, obviously you can minimize the ribbon here to give you a bit more space and also since it's a smaller screen you can um, increase the size of the text over here so you actually still get it get get a good um, good size view of what you're typing so you can either go with the built-in uh, touch keyboard but obviously if you're doing um, some word processing you really want to use a keyboard so you can get either a Bluetooth keyboard something like this typing a few words Um, and that works pretty well if you want to get into your menus you can put your menus down and that works that should actually be in touch mode type mode there we go so the menus are actually a bit smaller so you don't lose too much uh, too much real estate and obviously you can go with the USB keyboard but you'd probably be using a USB, um, a Bluetooth keyboard because that's going to be a bit more portable. No wires to connect and uh, to get in the way. So let's type a bit more so you can see. It does, it does work pretty well. You can actually get that going. And if you go into Excel, and the same thing there, you can take the uh, cell size up a bit so it's a bit more usable. And then you can put in your numbers and input your text, your formulas or whatever, what not you want to do. And same thing here, if you pull down your, oops, wrong one. If you open up the menus, you can get into your, all your commands and your formulas and everything. Okay, so it does work. It's um, a bit of a stretch. It's probably best for short edits or something you want to do on the go, um, not for full, full content creation, but um, it's definitely serviceable um, as long as you're not working on, on documents for long periods of time. So that's Word and that is Excel. That's Office on desktop. And also let's take a look at uh, Internet uh, Windows Explorer, sorry. And as you can see, it's, again, it's an 18 inch screen. So some, some tasks are going to be a bit more difficult than you would be used to, but you can make adjustments to the way things are laid out for, for instance, increasing the size of the um, title bar. Uh, size of size of menus so if you right click oh. so if you tap and hold to get a right click you can actually increase the size of this menu so it actually does get a bit better and it's a bit easier to select so you can look at properties and it's a bit easy it's a bit easier to 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 maneuver around the de to desktop in this way So that's a desktop. I have also installed Steam. And although I'm not a cons uh, PC gamer, I was able to install Civ 5. And let's give it a quick, I can take this off now because that will work with a touch. And I can just quickly load that. Oops. Oops, failed to start. App already running. There we go.
And one thing about the Dell, that there's a single speaker, but it's actually pretty loud. So let me just turn that up a bit. So, let's just get into the game itself. Doesn't respond instantly when you try and get out of this cinematic, but... Try hitting the keyboard. There we go. Not well, responding to touch for some reason, but it responded to the keyboard, which was still connected via Bluetooth. And for the options here, video options, I've pretty much set everything to low and nothing else. So. Okay, fully loaded. Let's begin our journey. Now, I must confess, I'm not actually a PC gamer, but this is just uh, installed on here to see how it runs. So I'm not particularly sure how the game works. Uh, let's see. Okay, this much I haven't worked out. We're move mode. Should we attack? I don't know. So that seems to be, I guess, working pretty well. It does actually run, so that's a bit of a bonus. But anyway, enough of that. Okay, so let's go back to start. Mm -hmm. 